ब्रेकिंग न्यूज कमिंग इन एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम शशि थरूर हैज मैक मॉक द भारतीय जनता पार्टी वे आर गेटिंग यू द लेटेस्ट डिटेल्स इन जस्ट अबाउट अ बिट Shashi Tharoor has mocked BJP for Kashmir Files ban in Singapore. Tharoor says film has been promoted by Modi government banned in Singapore. Tharoor has cited news report for Kashmir Files ban in Singapore. Kashmir Files again in the eye of the storm. Remember ever since this film has come out there has been a huge controversy and uh, you know Vivek Agnihotri has been uh, attacked by several uh groups uh, for uh, this particular film uh, although he has always defended himself in saying that the film is absolutely based on facts well there was singapore's decision uh, to ban this particular film and we have that with us let me pull that out for our viewers in fact uh the statement that has come out uh, in in terms of why it is banned in singapore but shashi tharoor has gone ahead and mocked the bhartiya janata party on the back of this uh, the film has been refused classification in singapore and shashi tharoor has tweeted and i quote film promoted by india's ruling party kashmir files banned in singapore and he has shared some more material with regards to that big questions are rising on um why is it that the congress time and again is questioning the filmmakers questioning the bjp for a film that was showcasing facts and we'll get you reactions as we go along the way uh, tarur has mocked the bhartiya janata party for kashmir files ban in singapore in fact uh, i'm requesting the producers to patch my colleague pooja shali on this as well who uh, knows the entire story as far as the exodus of kashmiri pandits from the valley is concerned and who can correlate that to the depiction of uh, 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 events as it unfolded in the film as well the breaking news and the big one is about shashi tharoor mocking the bhartiya janata party for kashmir files ban in singapore tharoor goes on to say that the film has been promoted by modi government has been banned in singapore he has cited a news report for kashmir files ban in singapore and kashmir files as you already know has found itself in the eye of the storm time and again and this time around uh, as well it is found itself in the eye of the storm in fact uh, if i could just request the producers to get us a reaction from the bhartiya janata party on this and also from the congress party on this not just that if we could get pooja shali to join us uh, uh, to really put the story into perspective for our viewers uh, because she's been tracking the exodus of kashmiri pandits that took place um, and knows the facts of how it happened uh, and she can really correlate that to what really the events that were depicted in the film Tharoor refers to Singapore Kashmir files ban uh, let's get our reporters uh, to uh, uh, get you up to speed with the latest development but uh, you know big questions arising on time and again congress party questioning uh, Kashmir files uh, time and again them hitting out at the bjp for this Tharoor is saying that the film has been backed by the Bharatiya Janata Party Uh, Congress is championing free speech on one side, and we always know that. But why are they celebrating the ban in that particular case? Uh, that is also the big question: Is the Congress being hypocritical when it comes to Kashmir files? Tharoor has mocked the BJP for Kashmir files ban. I'm requesting the producers once again to get us a reaction from the BJP on this, from Congress as well on this, and. uh probably get a reporter to bring you up to speed with the latest developments sunil ji bhat is now joining us for the very latest sunil ji bhat uh i have one question for you leave the politicking aside just a basic question i don't know if you watched the film it would have helped if you watched the film from the actual events of the exodus of the kashmiri pandits to the events described in the film do you see any discrepancy whatsoever well cheti uh, as far as the movie is concerned uh, i was one of the first persons to watch it i watched it during the premiere of uh, the movie in jammu even before the official release and every incident that has been shown in the movie is a real life incident although the director has taken the artistic liberty to portray it the way he wants to but whether it was the killing of a person in that rice drum whether you found two people hanging on the trees yes that's also a real life incident so yes. every incident that has been shown 
real life incident and there is no exaggeration so my point here sunil ji is that even that if the ruling party is uh, supporting this film even if any political party is supporting the film if the facts shown in kashmir files are true and these are real life incidents that have taken place why is the congress party time and again hitting out at the bjp for this when these are factual events that have been depicted with a and we all understand creative liberty there a little bit of creative liberty is taken uh, absolutely chiti you are right but uh, as far as the stand of the congress party is concerned it's uh, up to the congress party to explain that why, uh, that why are they opposing the movie and why are they you know in a way celebrating its ban Uh, that has been imposed in singapore it's up to the congress party to answer but the fact uh, of the matter is that this movie is based on the ethnic cleansing of the kashmiri hindus from the kashmir valley and this was an issue which was kept under the carpet for last three decades nobody used to talk about this issue nobody used to talk about the human rights violations of the aborigines of the kashmir valley and how they were persecuted by the terrorists sponsored by pakistan now for the first time a movie has been made although previously also movies were made but for the first time a movie was made and there was no political correctness uh, in it it was an honest movie the way uh, the persecution the uh, how kashmiri hindus were persecuted i watched the movie too and you know i watched the, the movie too i'm the last person to bat for it we're being very objective here as journalists as well but as journalists we also know that when there are facts that are being depicted there cannot be any objection to facts now if the congress wants to make a big deal about it saying that you know uh, and and mock at the bjp that's a separate matter of politicking but as far as the facts are concerned in this movie is the congress not satisfied with that let's get a congress reaction on this as well while we are waiting the congress reaction uh, sunil ji uh, i want you to reiterate the fact uh, and if you could just tell our viewers again you and i have both watched the film and you clo- uh, you know track this uh, developments in terms of the actual exodus of the kashmiri pandits that took place outside of the movie and you are saying that there was nothing that was non factual is that correct absolutely jeti whatever in the whatever has been shown in the movie is based on real life incidents it's not fictional whether it was the killing of a person in that rice drum or whether it was the brutal gang rape and uh, uh the the way a woman was cut into pieces on a sawmill all these incidents have taken place in the kashmir valley in early 90s and these uh, kind of horrific crimes were committed by the terrorists sponsored by pakistan and if you ask the kashmiri pandit community they can tell you that how uh, the terrorists um unleashed a reign of terror against and them and the kashmiri pand is betrayal is well evidently well documented it makes you also question why farooq ahmed da the self admitted butcher of kashmiri pandits why is he still roaming scot free and that is what the film also makes you question absolutely cheti the terrorists who committed uh, these horrific crimes against the kashmiri pandits and were self admittedly never... self admittedly sunil ji absolutely cheti we have the confesh, uh, confessional video of uh, farooq ahmed dar ilas bita karate and uh, incidentally today hearing is going to take place in shri nagar court uh in the Ooh. case of satish tikku satish tikku was one of the first kashmiri pandits who was assassinated by farooq ahmed dar elis bitakrate his family has moved a uh, court in hold on right there uh, sunil ji i'm coming to you in just about a bit but amit rena who is a kashmiri pandit activist is now joining us on the phone line amit uh my colleague sunil ji bhat and i have both watched the film and uh while the film is fantastic uh cinematic liberties aside uh, sunil ji bhat has been tracking the story on the exodus of kashmiri pandits from the valley and he goes on to say as a reporter that there is nothing in this film which is not factual i want you to know uh, i want you to respond to the congress party when they time and again keep slamming the bjp for their political gains based on a film that is actually presenting facts I honestly don't know what to say about uh, the tweet or the Congress Party statements on Kashmir files. Uh, unfortunately, this country continues to live in an ostrich syndrome where they do not want to see the reality. And what this movie shows is the realities of 1990. Uh, every incident shown in the movie has occurred, and there are uh, they are well documented. So I honestly do not know uh, why Congress uh, Congress government wants to continue. Uh, 
to believe that such things have not happened. Probably. Congress uh, is. Do you think the Congress's objection is more based on the fact that the Bharatiya Janata Party is supporting this film, or is the objection really based on facts? Because right from uh, you know Bitta Karate Satish Tikku, uh, the real life story, uh, uh, killing of uh, Satish Tikku by the uh, JKLF terrorists, and you know how they all walked around Srinagar searching for Kashmiri pundits. All of that uh, uh, was showcased uh, rather. Uh, in factual manner. You know, I think uh, I have always wondered what uh, kind of politics uh, Congress is playing because uh, even if you look at the abrogation of Article 370, it was a, uh, Adiranjan Chaudhary uh, who said in the parliament that it is a disputed area. Uh, so how did you go and uh, abolish Article 370? Uh, it's also in the Congress regime that Bitta Karate got its bail when Justice uh, Vani went and said that the prosecution doesn't seem to be interested in pursuing the case because I can see he's is guilty, but I cannot do anything. Uh, it was uh, the time when Gulam uh, Nabi Azad was the chief minister of state. So, uh, and it was uh, it was Congress government which uh, created environment which led to the genocide and ethnic cleansing of Kashmiri Pandit. So, honestly, uh, it has nothing to do with BJP. It is the kind of politics uh, which is uh, which uh, Congress believes that uh, by uh, supporting terrorists and by supporting uh, people who committed genocide against Kashmiri Pandit. It is trying to appease a certain uh, vote bank in this country. Unfortunate, uh, that's their belief, which is uh, which is not true. But that's the way they play their politics. I, I, I also want to ask the Congress Party one question today, and I would like the Congress Party to come on record and respond to this question on how, despite the subjugation and the bloodshed that was witnessed on Kashmiri Pandits, the Kashmiri Pandits, uh, Mr. Rena, did not ever even once pick up arms. Yes, not even once. In fact, uh, I myself have gone to Supreme Court three times uh, asking for uh, the opening of SI, uh, SIT and forming of judicial tribunal uh, so that they can fast track the cases which are uh, pending against uh, the terrorists who have killed Kashmiri Pandit. Uh, in spite of uh, court rejecting uh, my petition twice, I still continue to hold uh, belief and faith in the judicial system of this country. And uh, as a community, we are proud that we have not sought revenge. We have sought always justice, and that's what we will always do, continue to fight for justice. Revenge is not uh, the part of our uh, uh, genes, and it is not even part of our thing. All right, uh, Mr. Amit Rena, we will bring you back on. I really want to uh, uh, tell, ask our viewers uh, this question about uh, it's time to think or not. Why is the Congress Party being so hypocritical and not showing empathy towards the Kashmiri funders that just did not pick up arms despite the subjugation, despite the bloodshed? And why is it that there is constant politicking just because the Bharatiya Janda Party ends up supporting a film that just does not suit their narrative. Uh, thank you so much, Amit Rena, for joining us uh, with the very latest details. Let's move on to the other big story that we're tracking right here on India Today.